Meantime, there are questions multiplying today about the mysterious death of award-winning journalist Michael Hastings. Hastings best, is best known for a Rolling Stone article that led to the resignation of Af Afghanistan Commander General Stanley McChrystal. Last week, Hastings was killed in a high-speed one-car crash. Immediately, his friends started raising questions about whether this was really an accident, as police quickly ruled. Then yesterday, we learned that hours before his death, Hastings sent a cryptic email to his friends and associates saying that the feds were investigating him and that he was on to a big story. Sergeant Joe Biggs is one of the friends who received that chilling email and he joins us live. Sergeant, thank you for being here and thank you for your service. So you knew Michael Hastings uh, and I know that this raised alarm bells for you when you heard that he was killed. Why do you question whether this was truly an accident? Um. It's the fact the way that I've, the other times that we've spoken before and this email I got, it was just very panicked and it didn't seem like something normally we would talk about. And I just felt a gut feeling, something didn't feel right. Mm -hmm. But the police say it's I, uh, an accident. Uh, they, they, you know, looked into it. They said, look, he was driving fast. It was 4.30 in the morning. It was dark. Lost control of the car, went through a red light, hit a tree. Well, his friends and family that know him, everyone says he drives like a grandma. So that right there doesn't seem like something that he would be doing. I mean, he had a lot of friends and family that cared about him. He had a, a good life to live. There's no way he would be acting erratic like that and driving that out of control. What do, what do you think is going on here? I mean, because we've, we've talked about this a couple of times just because it's getting so much attention on the Internet. And, and people who are close to Mr. Hastings... Uh, are still raising questions, questions about the LAPD and their conclusions that this was an accident. What is the alternate theory that he was that he was murdered, that he was intentionally targeted by someone? Um, I don't know that. Uh, I just know that from the email to hours later dying, it's just not a coincidence like that. Things don't add up. There's a lot of questions that need to be answered. Um, I contacted by email Mercedes a day ask them if it's normal for their cars to blow up to that extent, um, for if the engines fly out on a normal basis. I mean, these are the real questions we need to ask. And what of the, I mean, obviously he was investigating a couple of high profile cases. He was looking into, he said, um, Jill Kelly, uh, who was connected with the whole uh, David well, that, Petraeus that's and, been... and General, General Clark. Go ahead. His wife today said that that's definitely not true, that he was uh, investigating into Jill Kelly. Michael Hastings' wife says he was not investigating that. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, what was he investigating, as far as you know, that would have caused any consternation whatsoever by someone? CIA, but from what he said, or his last, well, one of the things he said is it was going to be the biggest story yet. The, you know... You know how people are going to react to this. They're going to say that the, the tinfoil hat people think the government killed this journalist uh, by taking exactly. over his, control, his car, doing something to his car. And, and the other people are going to say, uh, so there are people who are going to say that's, that's nuts. Your thoughts? I mean, I can understand both viewpoints. But like I said, he's not someone that would be driving around erratically like that in the middle of the night. That just wasn't how he was. Um, so that just leaves a lot of questions and a lot of digging that need to be brought up and answered. I'm not going to speculate and say I think anything because that's just going to make me look crazy. <laughs> well, no one wants that. We just want answers. And it was interesting because uh, former, former counterterrorism uh, official Richard Clark spoke in an interview to the Huffington Post saying, look, he said it is possible uh, for intelligence agencies to seize control of a car remotely. That's what he claims. And to do what they want to it. And he went on to say, uh, reportedly, my rule has always been you don't knock down a conspiracy theory until you can prove it wrong. Uh, in any event, Sergeant, thank you for being here.